Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's your purchase and pricing email question line. For asking questions about the pricing of this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform, please reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Today, we're discussing an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Chronograph in the 44 millimeter size. Retailed in 2017, this model is a combination of grade 5 titanium and black ceramic, highly durable, Big, boisterous, and as ever, effervescent. The offshore line proves that Audemars Piguet knows how to have a good time. More than a party watch, it's a durable and practical everyday companion that's ready to dress up or down as the occasion merits. Now, let's take a look at the size. 44 millimeters became a regular offering in the AP offshore line back in 2011, and it's remained so ever since. 14.4 millimeters thick. It's actually not as thick as I imagined it would be, though it is broad across the wrist at 55.1 millimeters lug to lug, and if you include these little plots, these inter immediate links. The absolute distance across the wrist is a beefy 58.7 millimeters. Now we're going to put all that in perspective and throw it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. I, I would not wear this watch on a wrist smaller than mine. I think the 44 even on the flexible diver strap, is suitable for a wrist 16 centimeters circumference or larger. I can wear it comfortably, but I think any smaller and you're going to get a little bit of lug flare, certainly link flare over the edge of your wrist. As I mentioned, it's not all that thick, and I think it'll be just fine with a jacket, maybe not the tightest of dress sleeves. It's a big watch, so there's still some heft in spite of the use of a lot of sapphire, ceramic, and titanium. You still feel a little bit of premium pull. It, it's not unnervingly light. Taking a look at the strap, I love this strap. The diver strap first debuted in the 2000s as an accessory for the dive versions, the scuba, the vempe of the offshore, and gradually became a popular option on the chronographs. And at this point now, it's a factory issued piece on the chronographs. It's a lovely gray with a granular finish that you can see that AP really sweats the details as the bevel of the lug hoods continues along the edge of the strap. And the strap is held to the case using screws and bars, not spring bars, so it's very secure and well fixed. You can also see that the plots extend with striations into the strap to add some definition. And then we have a simple matching titanium pin buckle for quick adjustments. You can see uh, media blasted on the bottom, satin finished on its side and its top. The case is handsome and you do get that hand finishing you expect from an Audemars Piguet. Uh, the faceting is gem-like and razor sharp. The bevel expands over the lug hoods but then thins at the mid case. You can see that the character lines continue perfectly from the bezel through the mid case through the case back. Satin finished mid case Case, take note that the bezel is finished the same way it would be on the precious metal, steel, and titanium versions of the bezel. So though it is ultra hard and scratch resistant ceramic, it's also been polished on its side and satinated vertically on its top. So you're getting everything you would get with a standard metal offshore or royal oak hand finishing. Ceramic caps are used for the chronograph pushers for scratch resistance and protection, as well as the shoulder for the crown. And you can see that little hex screws used to fix these shoulder guards and crown guards on. So if they get smashed or scuffed, you can actually have them taken off and replaced. You'll also note that the bezel gasket is fully expressed. This is a long time offshore styling element. The little rubber gasket is fully visible, but with the black bezel, the two really blend into one and it's not as obtrusive in this design. Now the dial, of course, features the bolt that run circumferentially around a rounded octagonal dial. The dial on the original 1972 Royal Oak inspired by vintage diving helmets. You can see that these bolts here are made of steel. On a standard Royal Oak, they would be gold. Here, they're steel for durability. They're able to align all the way around because they're not screws. Uh, there would be no way to fit a screw into that shaped aperture. Uh, they slot in and they're held on the back by, by nuts. So they're nuts and bolts to allow this alignment. The dial is mega tapisserie and it is a semi-gloss anthracite. You can see polished chapter rings for the sunken sub-registers, a combination of anthracite, silver, a white, and a few well-chosen red elements. The tachymeter outboard is in black and metallic and allows you to use the chronograph to gauge the speed of an object over, for example, a kilometer because this is base 1000. So that is the point of the tachymeter scale, gauging speed. You can see the sunken date because this is a modular chronograph. If you were able to look at the center line of the crown and compare the level of the pushers, they are slightly above the center line of the crown. 
A Dubois de Praz 3840 vertical clutch chronograph module is used to provide chronograph function here. And you can see thanks to the vertical clutch system, the start and the stop is very smooth. There is a hacking or stop seconds function, and then there is also a quick set for the date. Where there will be a loom shot. Turn it all over, and you can see the base movement is called 3126. It's the 3120, but engineered to accept the chronograph module. You have a, a bi-directional winding rotor, which is in black and gold. It features ceramic rotor bearings for efficiency, as well as minimal maintenance requirements. You don't have to think about your rotor bearing, and it doesn't have to be serviced. Full balance bridge with a free sprung index and a Gyromax style balance, uh, so it's very shock tolerant. And thanks to the Gyromax free sprung architecture, it's not just shock tolerant, it's very easy to adjust precisely. It beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It pivots on 59 joules, and it has a 50 to 55 hour power reserve, all of this water resistant down to 100 meters. So a very versatile handmade super sports watch. Reach out to Team Osso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore 44. And we're back with the Royal Oak Offshore 44, looking great.